Okay, I'm back. Uh, we are still on part six, cleaning out the inside of the gourd, okay? So in the last, or the first part of this section, I went over the tools, uh, how to clean out as much of the inside with your hand before we soak it, okay? So what I did during that little pause is that I put these in a five gallon bucket or you can put them in a sink or a trash can. I soaked them or I submerged them in warm, almost hot water for about 20 minutes, okay? I just took them out. I put them in this pot here. Uh, so in our out outline here, uh, the second step is to use the tools to scrape away the skin. So let me move forward here in front of the camera okay so our goal is to take something that looks like this and turn it into that with no uh no meat uh, no flesh of the gourd or any seeds left inside okay just bare shell of the gourd so you can see where it's pulled away a little bit so I'm going to take this serving spoon, okay, I'm going to move away from the camera here to get some leverage, okay. Now if you can see, a lot of it is just going to scoop out, okay. Some of it comes out pretty easy. Okay. Now, some of that's still stuck on there pretty tight. Uh, one tip on that in a minute. You take your butter knife. Okay. I go like this, okay? That's going to get a lot off. You can take your butter knife and go up inside here, okay? Now this is going to be really, let me sit down so you can see me, this is going to be really tough to get. You probably won't get everything up in here, uh, but one tip on that here in a minute. So. Anyway, to get this clean, it's just going to take me probably uh, another 10 or 15 minutes. I don't want to waste the time on the video, but this is, these parts right here are still pretty tightly attached to the inside. A tip that I have right here, uh, skin that has not pulled away from the shell is hard to remove, which we can see. So you scrape off the top layer that's going to be soft and then you re-soak this for another 10 or 15 minutes and you scrape off uh, the next soft layer. As this thing soaks, it will become easier and easier to pull off. So sometimes when these layers are really thick and still attached to the gourd, only the top layer uh, gets really soaked and soft. So you keep having to soak it and scrape it this butter knife is going to be really helpful to grind that away. Um, <clears throat> let's try this one real quick. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a little easier, which it is. Okay. So I'm scraping along. Okay, so that took like 20 seconds. You can see that most of that is already gone. So I didn't get up here because this spoon won't go in here. So I take the next size spoon down, which allows me to get up there. All right. And this came out. And this came out. So
So this allows me to get almost everything out of that top part, right? I don't know if you can see that, but this is basically clean. So as you can see the difference, this I was able to almost clean completely in about 30 seconds. It's gonna take me a few more minutes with a butter knife and uh, some spoons and a butter knife to get up in here and clean it all out. But I'm gonna scrape it down to the hard shell and then rinse it out with water, okay? Uh, and again, when you have skin that's a little tighter, keep re-soaking, scraping, re-soaking, scraping until you get it all off. Uh, now for the hanger. This is going to help us in these areas. So with this angle up here, it's going to be hard to get uh, the knife or a spoon up here, right? Because you're not really going to be able to get the angles that well. So you bend this, you hook it, and you just move it around. And that will take a little bit especially if uh, these necks are a really thin on these gourds and you can't get any spoon in there, you have to go through the vent or the hanger holes with uh, a wire and just scrape it out. And the reason you want to get this out because that stuff will eventually rot uh, and you'll not be able to seal the top because of all that uh, dried flesh. And also it's gonna be harder to see if wasp or other hornets are up there with all that junk. So you try to clean out as much as you can. Um, so anyway, uh, every gourd is gonna be different. Every gourd is going to take a little different amount of time, but with these spoons, uh, the butter knife, and a coat hanger to get these uh, various short bulbous portions and uh, narrow parts up there. You're going to be able to clean almost every gourd completely uh, given the time uh, to do it. Uh, so I told you about not using heavy weights on these gourds because it will distort the opening here. So gently push these underwater. Uh, the last tip of this section that I want to go over is a uh, Let's say you're doing smaller gourds, okay? Uh, so my hands are fairly big. You can't, if this gourd is wet, like one of these gourds, you can't force your hand into this opening because it will stretch and rip, especially these thinner gourd shells. You'd, and I ha I've done that a couple of times, split this, okay? And so I've had to let them dry and then put some uh, Gorilla Glue or Super Glue in the, in the cracks and then gently clamp them together to uh, fix them. So be careful when you are trying to get a spoon or a, a other object out, up in there to clean it. You don't want to force your hand in there and rip and tear the uh, shell of the gourd because some of these are a little thinner and more fragile than others. Okay, so uh, we've got our gourds clean. They look like this on the inside, okay? We need to hang them and dry them so that we can then stain and seal them. So uh, the next section is gonna be pretty quick, but I'm gonna go into my basement room where I got a rope and uh, where I'm hanging these. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna go in there, set up the camera, and we'll get back to it in a minute.